you wait for people to get comfortable. If you wait for people to come out of like their place of complacency or like what they're used to or familiar with, they won't ever do that. This is not a favor. Being treated equally is not a favor to, to our community. Corporate America has to be urgent and take action, right? The rallying cry that we have with our leadership of the company are three words, expectations, accountability, and capability. If you truly care about diversity, and that is something obviously that we hope every company, you know, is having a reckoning within themselves and that they care about, you have to tell the full story. And in order to do that, you have to have more diversity at your table, on your team. You need those voices to be heard. That is truly how this world is going to be a better place for everyone. Non-LGBTQ people want to see LGBTQ people in ads because it helps them build acceptance and think better of the company. Having brands look at diverse audiences, not because of that we're gay or black or white or yellow, but more about the alignment, about who we are as people, how we buy, how we shop, who we are and how brands align with us. You know that non-binary and people that are transgender have a really tough time just getting any name of the chosen name on their documents. The trans person might be the number one candidate that's being interviewed, but if the person interviewing them uh, is worried about how they're, they're gonna integrate this person into their company, then they're not gonna hire them, even if they're best. The reality is that we need to continue to educate people. And we can only do that through, you know, a, uh, an open, non-defensive dialogue. None of like the hard fought victories, whether they were civil rights, whether they were gay rights, whether they were women's rights, none of these victories were won without forcing people to these realizations. I think it's a, an opportunity in that brands can show how they actually are gonna put their money where their mouth is, hiring people, um, you know, not just selling a shirt where 5% of profits go to a nonprofit, but actually doing something substantial that has a real clear signal behind it. Megan Rapino, one of our athlete ambassadors, says you cannot win championships without the gays. You just can't. Um, I really believe that with, with success with business. You cannot be successful without, you know, all the team players.